Songs of the Unforgiven is the eighth studio album recorded by the Crash Test Dummies, released in 2004. Almost immediately after recording Puss and Boots, Brad Roberts, Ellen Reed, and Dan Roberts proceeded to prepare recording the follow-up, with Roberts acknowledging he went through this phase where I was extremely prolific and I wrote like three records worth of material in a space of months. The band pursued a decisively raw, acoustic, stripped-down sound for songs of the Unforgiven, and turned to the internet in search of a recording studio that featured a pipe organ. By googling recording studios plus pipe organ, the first result revealed Sacred Heart Studios in Duluth, Minnesota, a church originally constructed in 1894 that was later abandoned and eventually restored and turned into a venue for concerts. Having discovered Sacred Heart Recording Studio included a 1,493 pipe, Felgemaker pipe organ, the band drove to Duluth and recorded the album the following January. The album is decidedly apocalyptic thematically, featuring lyrics replete with biblical references and imagery. Other unconventional instruments appear on the record, including the harp and kettle drums. Suzy Roche, a female vocal group The Roche's Fame, provides backing vocals on the album's three sonnets. All tracks are written by Brad Roberts except as noted. Brad Roberts, vocals, acoustic guitar on There Is No Final Winner. Ellen Reed, backing vocals. Dan Roberts, bass guitar. Suzy Roche, backing vocals, vocals on Sonnet 1, There Is No Final Winner, and Sonnet 3. Chris Brown, pipe organ, pump organ, piano, Wurlitzer electric piano, accordion, harmonium on the beginning of the end. Scott Harding, acoustic and electric guitars, Symbols on Sonnet 1, Vibraphone on Everlasting Peace, Backing Vocals on Is the Spell Really Broken? Andrew Hall, Upright Bass. Drew Blacken, Acoustic Guitar, Lap Steel Guitar, Bass Guitar, Resonator Guitar on There Is No Final Winner, Tremolo Bass on Sonnet 3. Jane Scarp and Tony, Cello. David Mansfield, Banjo, Violin. Park Stickney, Harp. Mimi Parker, Drums on The Unforgiven Ones. Alan Sparhawk, electric guitar on Come Down to the Sinkhole. Todd McMillan, church bell on the beginning of the end. The album resulted in the band receiving their best reviews since God shuffled his feet. All music writer Rob Theakston gave the album 4 out of 5 stars and states that with the dummies stripped of all the electronic experimentation and quirky, Shel Silverstein-esque lyrics that hindered their past few releases, The Haunting. Sparse acoustic instrumentation makes a welcome return to the forefront of the songwriting process. This only reinforces and complements Robert's existentially bereft baritone folk tales to their fullest potential. The sonnets used for lyrics are some of the crash test dummies' darkest and most brooding in their entire catalog, talking tales of murder, sinister deeds, punishment, sin, and death. Songs of the Unforgiven is the record diehard fans have been patiently waiting for, and it's outstanding. In addition, Daryl Sturden of the Winnipeg Sun, who also gave the album four out of five stars, states that the over-swirling pump organs, slowly strummed guitars and molasses slow grooves, the baritone Robert somberly intones psalms of death, darkness, and delivery, coming off like a cross between Leonard Cohen, Nick Cave, Tom Waits, and Elmer Gantry. And the brooding neoclassical folk hymns of Songs of the Unforgiven come off as his most sincere, spiritual thoughts to date.